Hello everyone and welcome to Gamey FTL. My name is Josh and this is Captain Forever Remix. We have looked at this game previously and it has come a long way and is going to be in early access in March. So I thought I'd take another look at it and see how, how things have changed. Now this is the configuration I normally use. You can just, you know, put everything on one side. But if you put your thrusters, say, there, obviously what's going to happen is you're going to go around in circles because there's a very basic physics and momentum propulsion system for for the mass of the modules so you're going to want to avoid making something stupid but it is good fun to make something that looks silly uh, there are all sorts of parts that have been added in now there's shields there are different weapons like uh, these torpedo things and the missiles and rockets and shields and all sorts of cool modules to play with but I think if we just kind of dive into the gameplay whoops if we do this as quickly as possible what happens that I think the worst thing about this game is the fact that as I'm I've been trying to record a few times now and I always get distracted playing the game which is a good sign but also really bad for me making videos. So <laughs> hopefully that won't happen this time. So W, S and D to move, rotate and Q and E to kind of go left and right if you see the thrusters there. Uh, you do, if, hang on, if we move it, Q and E work a bit strong. It, it's, it's stronger if you put thrusters in the directions that they're going to be uh, facing and you make your ship more maneuverable by just placing thrusters all around it in like 360 degrees you can make it super maneuverable but obviously the more um, modules you put on there the heavier it's going to get so if we steal that and then put that there ah no don't shoot me I'll just shoot you shoot you instead that's a better plan <laughs> right there we go and if you see the plus two dollars there that is from the destruction of other ships obviously but you can use that in the kind of building menu that we saw a while back to increase the abilities of our ship and oh this one the thing that says one jump over there is how we end the level we destroy that oh my god he's so much more powerful than everyone else ah stop destroying all my shizzle blow it up blow it up blow it up Blam! Okay, he's got he's got nothing. He's got nothing on me. Oh no! Although my oh no, I want to go around. Hey, you don't even have a gun. Hello. Shoot you. There we go. You got stunned. There we go. That's some extra cash. And we have to go around and destroy the command module of this guy to jump to the next area. Ah, oh, I'm getting it inundated by things trying to attack me now. Run! Blam! Oh my god, he's going around in circles because he's only got one thruster. Die! Ah! Keep on getting stuns, that's brilliant. And that's one of the abilities that you can upgrade. But I want... Ah, oh, where did the weapons go? I want your weapons, not anything else. Right, now is, as it says, a good time to rebuild. And I think I just kind of want to put as many thrusters on here as possible. It's probably a good idea to put something there something there to protect our module because much like the enemies if your module gets destroyed then it's game over and you have to start all over again and I think I think we're done now I don't think there's any more modules to steal from anyone so let's jump into the next system and it goes from planet to planet so we start at the Sun which has been frozen by the evil King Kevin and then I mercury has been defaced by that vagabond Kevin. And I, I think it's kind of cute that they've got this cartoony um, aspect to the, to the art. It's It looks really good and it, it gives it a lot of charm and just seeing bright colours in general always makes me happy. I don't, it's just that this kind of roguelike thing just t tends to be all oh dark and doom and oh you're going to die and that makes makes a nice change is what I'm trying to trying to say right where are all these ships I want to blow stuff up I actually want more weapons as well so if I can avoid destroying you oh my god I'm so spinny because I put because of the way I put my engines come on out the way engine god I don't want his engine I want his 
Hang on. It's, it's not very good. Ah! Flip him round. There we go. <laughs> Use our own ship to flip him. No. You stop. There we go. Ah! There we go. Four dollars. Simple. Ah, here we go. Here's some new different modules. Maybe we can steal. Some very light modules. I don't think they're as strong, but they are uh, much lighter and you can obviously... That means that you can thrust around and not have to worry too much about um, the weight that you're adding on by putting in tons and tons of modules. Right, let's put that in the middle there. Whoa, I'm, I want to steal the weapons first. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. There we go. Plonk that there. That one's not damaged, so put that there. I'm trying to defend my uh, Captain Forever module. The command module, that's what it's called. I could just use what it, the words that... Oh my god, I'm so heavy now. Right, this way. I can't go backwards because this, the weight of my of my ship. It's madness. Right, swap that there so it's a bit more even. Although these yellow ones are a higher level of module, which means they're more powerful, they've got more health, and I think they might be heavier, I can't remember, or I can't really tell. But they're definitely, the thrusters are more powerful. They're just, obviously, in general, better. Oh, a crit! And criticals is another uh, thing you can upgrade using the money in the build menu. Between, between goes, which, mm, I think is different. I'm pretty sure it's different from what it used to be, because you used to spend it on upgrading modules and stuff like that. So it, the game has gone through some iterations, uh, but overall the game is is awesome, and it's got a lot of replay value. Um, oh my god, this thing is amazingly powerful. How can I ever destroy it? I'm gonna put that in the middle. Get rid of that, so I can <laughs> I can actually manoeuvre. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Ah! Wow. Oh no, oh no. He's got me, he's got me. There we go. Now I've got him. Steal his laser. Oh my god, that was so, so many lasers on that thing. And I have a feeling that the, uh, oh, I can't turn. I have, I am ineffectual at building. And I think that's probably my downfall. Because building is another, that's another thing to, you got to think about carefully. Oh my god, get rid of that. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh no. you got to think very carefully about what you're building, what you're putting it, uh, or where you're putting it even. And I, oh my god, this is, this is going so badly. Although they are kind of blowing each other up. And one thing you do have to keep uh, an, an eye on is what part of the ship you're destroying, or part of your enemy's ship you're destroying, because... Ah, balls! Because if you blow it up, you just can't use it, which is a shame. One thing they've added in is this nemesis system, so whatever ship that blows you up comes back when you get back to this level. So, I will see Judith again. King Chevin, check it out, I did it. No, you did not, I will... I will return. And we get bonuses for destroying our nemesis. So I don't know if they've been playing Shadows of Mordor or anything. Anything like that. But there is a nemesis system for bonuses. And it's uh, it's pretty simple. And it is an interesting way of uh, incentivizing replaying it. I am going to go for a different configuration this time. Because I feel that it didn't work particularly well. And also... Didn't defend me. Oh, balls, I pressed the wrong button. Right, put that there. There we go. All the weapons. I really can't wait to unlock the different starter kits. And also, it's a good ch uh, chance to upgrade stuff. So, enemy flee chance. I don't really want the enemies to flee. I would quite like more stun. Yes, I would like a higher stun chance. So, let's go and try that again. It is now harder, I think. Maybe it's a change in the AI since last I played, but the game seems harder. Maybe I'm out of practice, but getting to later levels is more difficult, and I, I can't really put my finger on it, but it's still, it's still the same 
core elements that I enjoyed. And I don't mind having to do things again because I'm, by now, everyone's probably kind of used to all the roguelikes going around. So having to retry stuff and get better at stuff as well is something that people will probably be used to. So let's just blow stuff up for a bit. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. Blow stuff up. You can be blown up. Blow you up and then put that there and I will grab that. Very nice. I actually think I'll put that there to defend my Captain Forever module and then see if I can like build some some interesting structures with the modules I pick up. Oh, I'm going around in circles. I forgot about that. <laughs> there we are. Did I blow up your weapon? Yes, I did. Okay, never mind. Um, how about putting that there and that there to increase maneuverability? Boop, 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 boop. Choo choo! <laughs> I come in peace. Not. Oh, you're from Wayne's World, are you? That classic humor. Oh no, my module is getting damaged. And I think I just blew up all the useful stuff he had. Oh, maybe not. There we go. I'm tr I'm going to try and build. Uh, across here so that I can put some um, thrusters inside and then maybe they'll last longer that way I don't know we'll see anyway I think it's probably a good idea to at some point put thrusters facing the front apart from that singular one so we can go around in circles there we go very useful I'm, I'm sure that was an efficient design decision by me right but I do like how it's it's very intelligent in the way that all the thrusters and things move and obviously just pressing A and D to rotate means that it, it selects the right um, thrusters and, and does it for you so you don't have to think too much too hard about it. Right, uh, let's put that there for the time being. I need your bits. Give me your bits. I'm not so bothered about your weapons. Give me your bits. Blam! Give me your bits. There we are. There we are. Wait, put that in there. And oh no! Come on, let's go. Run out! Run away! And if I put that there, that should work fine, right? That's actually a pretty interesting design. I, I wonder how how that will get blown up. There we go. Nice. Put that there. Put that there. And now the interior is protected, kind of. And I don't want to blow up myself, because you can do that. You can explode your own bits by by uh, putting them in the way of each other. And I just lost a thruster. That's I'll, I'll take one of yours, thank you very much. Right, let's go. Oh no, that level 2 orange thruster. There we go, a stun. That's exactly what I need. Oh no. Okay, do that now. Get rid of him. Destroy this dude. Oh yes, level 2 stuff. I'm gonna pinch all of the stuff. Oh yes, so good. Oh my goodness, so many leveled up thrusters. I really want all of these things. Yes, awesome. I think this is probably a good place for me to start the recording uh, or say thank you for watching and if you want to discover more cool, weird, free and interesting indie games then subscribe for daily videos and if you are as interested in Captain Forever Remix as I am, I am going to be starting a Let's Play series on it, because it's awesome. There we go. I think I think that'll have to do for the moment. And until next time, build your own spaceship. <laughs>